What's up, Med Girl Squad? It's future Dr. Rezzy. And if you don't know me, hi, my name is Rezume Uye, and I'm the author and illustrator of a children's book called Girls for Medicine, right up there, where we are trying to encourage kids, especially black and brown girls, to consider careers in healthcare. Why? Because representation matters. So, so excited to have another video for you guys today in celebration of National Dentist Day, which means we are going to be interviewing a dentist and she's here today and I'm so excited for her to be here. And the goal is just so you guys can see that you can do this too as soon as we finish this video. So without further ado, let's welcome Dr. Leah. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy to be here. Thank you for having me on. This is gonna be so much fun. Yeah, let's learn a little bit more about you. What's a fun fact about you? Let's start with that. A fun fact about me. Um, so I love to pretend that I'm a ballerina in my house. So like I'm always dancing and spinning and like doing like fake ballerina moves. <laughs> Cause I don't really know how to do it. But in my head, I'm a full blown ballerina. What's your favorite food? Okay, so I know I'm not supposed to say this because I'm a donor, but I love sweets. I love candy. I love all of these things Ooh. that I'm not supposed to love because I'm a donor. So that's like my guilty, like what I'm not supposed to say, but it's really true. <laughs> yeah. See, a dentist like candy. I brush my teeth though and floss. Yes, there you have to, br <laughs> yes, that's very important, kids. Do not say if they're eating candy, that's the, that's the sign we need to, we can, no, no. You need to make sure you're brushing your teeth and you're brushing your teeth the right way. Food, food, like actual, like nutritious food. I think chili, mom's chili that she makes. It has to be mom's, whatever. Amazing. Yes, mm -hmm. I love eating French fries. I love French fries so much and I eat it in moderation, meaning I don't eat it every day. So what is it that you like to do for fun? Um, so I love watching Netflix. So I- That's great. <laughs> it's winter right now. And so it's been so cold. So there's yep. not a lot of things to do. So I'm inside a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. But when the sun is shining and it's warmer outside, I like to go for walks. I like to go on nature trails, like just to like yes. be in greenery. And like yes. see the trees and stuff because I love trees. I love yes. trees. So I love that. Okay, so in addition to just dancing as a ballerina once in a while, you're also <laughs> on Netflix. It's very relatable. I completely <laughs> understand that. <laughs> so when you were a kid, what did you want to be when you grew up? I wanted to be a journalist. So like Ooh. I was very much so convinced that I was gonna be on the news every night. And so I got this big uh, cardboard um, box and then I cut like a hole in it to like be the TV essentially. And then like, it was oh, wow. called New News. So original. <laughs> <laughs> new News. <laughs> like I would just be in the box, like talking about what's going on and what's happening in our house, like that's, as a six year old. That's so amazing. Like, random <laughs> stuff like mom's making this and dad got home this time and so it was just a journalist but, wow yeah. i just wanted kids to know it's just like you wanted to be a journalist and then you're suddenly a dentist like how did that happen and that's and that's that happens it's it's very normal and it's okay i mean you can easily make a, another cardboard box if you want to i think it'll be a lot more elaborate or a lot more creative <laughs> <laughs> With the name, though. I think I might, I'm not, if I do it again, I'm going to keep the name New News. Because, new News. <laughs> why not? <laughs> That's really great. Thank you for sharing that. So when you were in elementary school, did you have like a favorite class? What was your favorite class? My favorite class was art, hands down. Like, I was just... <laughs> I was like, give me all the things. I'm like, yeah, you want to draw this? Okay. The but funnily enough, I'm going to have to maybe say something controversial here. Okay. I hated coloring. I hated coloring. I was like, why are we doing this? <laughs> I love to like draw, like 
sketching and everything like that. So like with paint, not with paint, with like pencils and with charcoal. This next question, because <laughs> did you know that dentists are kind of like the artists of the teeth? Like they, they actually like sculpt your teeth to make it look as beautiful as it can be. What made you want to become a dentist? Um, so when I was little, in between doing news shows, my, <laughs> um, my sister like had something going on with her tooth one day. I remember like being like, like lean back and like open so I can see. And mm -hmm. she was so grossed out about this. She was like, why do you want to look at my mouth? Like this isn't gross to you. And I was just like, no, like I kind of want to see what's happening. And so then she was like, you should be a dentist. And I was like, whatever so but the the memory of that wow. always sticks <laughs> stuck in my mind it like burrowed deep in my head somewhere and i always kind of remembered it um and so then when i got older and when i went off to college i actually did major in journalism i actually did pursue writing but oh. then i minored in chemistry meaning i did both mm -hmm. i decided i was like okay like maybe i should be a dentist like after i got a little bit older I just love hearing when people share that this isn't what they wanted to be when they were young, you know, but it was an interest that grew and grew over time. And now you're doing amazing in the field, I'm sure. So I'm curious, like there might be some little, some, some dentists watching, little dentists watching, and they're just like, I want to be where you are. <laughs> Explain what did you have to do to become a dentist? So I had to go to school a long time. <laughs> yeah, I did elementary school, I did middle school, I did high school. And then after high school comes college. And then after college comes more college. So that more college is called dental school. That is four years long. And so after that, then you become a dentist. So you have a lot of school. <laughs> you have a lot of school and kids I know it takes a while but that's all the more reason why you need to make sure that whatever you decide to go to school for you're very very passionate about because if you're very passionate about it and you love what you're learning the time is going to go by quickly yes it's going to be very difficult because it takes time for you to to be the best you can be in something that you need time to learn about. It's all about what you want to do and how you go about doing that. How how can one be a girl for medicine? Um, I would say always be curious. You mm. always have to want to know more. Yes. Because people come in and they have a problem and you have to figure it out. So like you're like a little detective in that moment and you have yes. to ask questions yes. and you have to figure out okay what could it be and then you have to give them like what you think it is so you always mm -hmm. have to be kind to people because you're going to meet a lot of people who are very very different from you mm -hmm. and they're going to come from all over the world and they're coming to you for you to help them mm -hmm. and it's going to be so important for you to treat everybody with kindness so kindness and curiosity i think two very important things very very important kindness is so important kindness works but those those are great qualities thank you thank you for sharing that but i do want to speak to some of you guys that look like us if we had like about a hundred physicians in this room can you guess how many of them would look like me tick tock tick tock tick -tock. i'll tell you two only two i am a real life unicorn when it comes to you guys learning about the world, books is one of those things that you get to go into and go into a book and learn something about yourself or learn something about the world. And the whole purpose of this book, Girls for Medicine, is for you guys to see that you are definitely needed in the healthcare field. So it's not just, oh, why should I go into this and go and stay for a long time? Especially now you guys are saying, we're gonna be in school forever. Well because healthcare needs a girl like you. So Dr. Leah, what advice would you give to a little girl who looks like you and they want to be a girl for medicine like we are? So I think the way that a lot of girls that look like us, brown and black girls, make it in medicine, make it in healthcare is because they have something called grit. G-R-I-T. 
Mm -hmm. It's grit. And so basically what that means is uh, never give up in this. So they literally, it doesn't matter what they come across, they say to themselves, I'm not gonna give up. Mm -hmm. Because this path, this road, this journey is not gonna be easy. But if you never give up, you can do it. All you gotta do is just don't quit. That's it. That's the mystery, that's the secret, that's the special sauce <laughs> is mm -hmm. grit and never giving up. That she created a whole new word, teachers. I'm sorry, but it, it, it works. Grit just means never give up itness. <laughs> I possess the never give up itness. <laughs> I'm just so grateful that Dr. Leah right now just being just being a whole dentist. She she's telling you that is such an important quality in you that you need to develop right now. I also just want to let you guys know that you should not give up. Don't feel don't feel that you have to just do just one thing. You can do more than one thing. And I also believe that in the healthcare field, you have an opportunity to be the very best version of yourself. So, Dr. Leah, any last comments that you'd like to tell all of the Med Girl Squad watching today? Um, if you're watching today and in a few years, maybe like, I don't know, 10 years, you decide to become a dentist, find me and tell me that you saw this, that you saw this video, that you yes. decided to become a, a dentist and we can totally hang out and like do dentist stuff. <laughs> So we're just here for you. So if you have any questions in the future that you'd like Dr. Leah to answer, then I'd more than I'm more than willing to send her those questions in the future should you guys want her to answer that. Happy National Dentist Day. When I upload this, it's going to be National Dentist Day. So we celebrate <laughs> you and many other amazing dentists, especially those of you who look like us. You guys are winning history in the making. And um, thank you so much for taking the time to um, allow me to interview you for the Med Girl Squads watching out there. So thank you guys for watching this YouTube video. There are so many others that are coming up in the future. So if you'd like to stay on track with any other healthcare professionals that I interview on this page, make sure you like, subscribe and turn on your notifications so you will be the first to know when we have a new video. Make sure you follow us on Instagram where I'm going to be hosting a lot of giveaways in the future. But if you would like a copy of Girls for Medicine, you can just go to girlsformedicine.com and get your copy and I'll make sure to sign it myself. And there's also coloring pages if you if you're like us and we oh wait, just me cuz cuz um Dr. Leah doesn't really like coloring. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah so <laughs> if you <laughs> dr leah how can they follow you it's gonna be dr leah on instagram so at d-o-c-t-o-r-l-e-e-y-a-h dr leah thank you guys so much for watching this video and we hope you enjoy the rest of your day okay. bye